Hi everyone, John Kozeski here with the Chamber of Commerce, your small business advocate. Most people, they hate sequels, but Basil and I, we love them. Terminator 2, Godfather 2, and the best one in my opinion is about to be released in 2021. The Payroll Protection Program, Part 2, Main Street's Revenge. Maybe they didn't actually call it that, but they probably should have, because that's just what it is. It's time our small businesses get a little revenge on the damage that's been done to our communities. I'm sure you remember this program from before. In the second version, it's pretty similar, but uh, a few minor changes. You're still going to be able to apply for up to two and a half times your uh, monthly payroll, this time only up to $2 million, and it'll be eligible for, for forgiveness as long as you use the majority of that money to keep your teams employed and use the rest on genuine business expenses, such as uh, rents and other overhead costs that Congress has already approved. The trick this time is that you have to be able to demonstrate a 25% loss in business from one quarter to another. Now the trick here is that it's not simply subsequent quarters. That just would have been too easy. Besides, everybody in the world lost money from quarter one to quarter two this year, except maybe Purell, Charmin toilet paper. What was up with that? No, these losses have to be from the same quarter this year to the same quarter in 2019. Now this is an area where you wanna make sure you don't get tripped up. A lot of people may think, well, we lost all that business in March when we closed, so clearly I should look at quarter one. Or maybe, well, business was definitely down April, May, June, so I should look at quarter two. But what you need to think about is when you actually got the cash in in 2019. Did you normally not get paid for receivables that people owed you in June until August? Because if that's the case, now you're looking at quarter three losses from year over year. Also, I know it feels like Basil's dog years to think about 2019, but think back if there was any big projects or one-time uh, income generators for you that maybe boosted a certain quarter that might help you now in 2020. Now, the SBA is going to roll out the official guidelines for this at some point in the next few weeks. In the meantime, now is the opportunity to get your financials in order. Find out where your losses really were and find out what your payroll is that you'll be, be, uh, that you'll be claiming on this second application. Also, if you haven't done so already, remember that the forgiveness period has already begun for the original PPP loans. If you're not taking advantage of this yet, I certainly encourage you to contact your banker before you have to repay any or all of that original PPP loan. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, leave them in the comment section here as we're going to be monitoring that pretty closely. You're always welcome to reach out to the Chamber of Commerce uh, with any questions you might have. And also, check out our website. You might be looking for a qualified accountant or a tax preparer, and we have a great list of them right there that we definitely recommend to you uh, who can help you with these applications and more. So, in the meantime, we miss seeing you. We hope you had an absolutely wonderful holiday, and we look forward to being together once again in 2021. Happy New Year, my friends.